Hey guys, Dave and Anna here. Today we're talking about the transporter refueled. Someone's got gas. That was pretty good actually. All right, so the Transporter Refueled is the newest entry into the Transporter franchise. It's the fourth movie, but of course this is a reboot. We know that because Jason Statham is no longer Frank Martin. Yeah. Now it's Ed Screen from Game of Thrones. I think that my favorite part about this movie is it's a period piece. Yeah, and the movie starts off and, and it gives you a little card. It says that it's 1995. These Eastern European guys take over the skin trade. Yeah. In wherever Fran this is. In the French France? Riviera, yes. Yeah. And then it goes 15 years later. And you're like, yeah, it's 2010. Okay. Yep. What I find most amazing about this is the fact that the Audi that Frank is driving through this entire car is from 2012, which means his car is from the future. Uh huh. Which is amazing. Well, I mean, he does talk about how great car technology is. <laughs> I, when you have a future car, exactly. it really is pretty great. How do you really review a transport movie? They're all bad. I mean, the thing is, they're fun. Yeah, they're full of fun. action. But overall, I mean, they're never great. I'm just going to start off by saying there really was no reason to make it the same character. <laughs> no reason at all. Yeah. Like, I still want Jason Statham to come back. I don't care if there's already another Frank. There, there can be two Frank Martins. I think Ed Screen is a good actor. There were times where I felt like in long shots, he just sort of looked like he was doing like a fashion ad. Yeah, Because well, he's, you know, he's a model basically. He's, he's incredibly pretty and he sort of has resting blue steel face. <laughs> he does, he blue steals the hell out of the bad guys. Jason Statham really is so iconic in this role mm -hmm. that it's very difficult. But I think where they succeeded in this movie was hiring Ray Stevenson to play the father of Frank. Yeah, Ray Stevenson is always great to see on screen and he really added so much to the movie. Now, I think the biggest problem with this movie is the directing of the action scenes, I think we both felt were not as good as some of the other Transporter movies. Yeah, not just the directing, but also the shooting of them. Uh, yeah. You know, the, the problem is that you can't really tell what's going on. Whereas in the other Transporter movies, Jason Statham always looked so cool doing stuff Partly because Jason Statham is so cool yeah. and always looks so cool. Yeah. He was doing cool stunts and they were shot in ways that were awesome. It seemed very claustrophobic the way yeah. it was shot a lot of time. And there wasn't sort of the big sort of sweeping shots they've had in the other ones. Also, I thought some of the car scenes maybe weren't as good as some of the other movies. I do feel like there were a lot of crazy moments though. I think like each one has those crazy things where like, you know, he's using a hose to fight yeah. or, you know, something crazy that he's doing because he's just that good. There wasn't really a lot of that in this yeah. movie. I mean, there was that fight in the file room or file hallway yes. in the file hallway that was cool <laughs> there were a few like interesting fight scenes like mm -hmm. there's one where you know he leaves people in the car while he goes out and fights and the car is slowly moving he's riding that whip and fighting and it's awesome exactly where do you think it falls in the transporter uh, pantheon of films well the way that I rank the transporter movies is transporter 2 mm -hmm. the transporter mm -hmm. transporter refueled yes transporter 3 yeah it's not the worst one it's not the best one mm -hmm. once again is Ed Screen the Though he's good, though though he's likable, you know, it, it, this movie sort of reminded me of like when there's a new doctor, yeah. after a really popular doctor, or or gave me the sinking feeling of this the day when inevitably they will do a, a Die Hard reboot mm -hmm. and someone else will play John McClane. It yeah. was sort of like. Ed's great, but he's not Jason Statham. And I think that Jason Statham was able to add so much charisma to a mm -hmm. very deadpan role where Ed, because he has to go after that, just kind of felt slightly wooden to me. Yeah, and, and the simple fact is there was no reason that he had to be the same character. Yes. He could have been Frank's protege. He could have just been another transporter. And if they hadn't made him the same character, it means Jason Statham could come back in some future movie. You guys could have done an expanded universe. What's going on here? Uh, the, the thing is, I can't tell you guys you should go see this. Right. I can't recommend it to you and say, go spend your money to see Transporter Refueled. Right. Um, on the other hand, if you're looking for something totally brainless that has fighting in it, mm -hmm. then I, I guess you, you can go see Transporter yeah. Refueled. I mean, it's a Transporter movie. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. Let us know down below what your favorite Transporter movie is. Also, make sure to check out all the cool stuff we have here at Cinefix. Make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you later.